Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sarah Select. Welcome to Smart Braces and Invisalign. Now, I've got a surprise guest to help me with today's video, which is all about how braces work. This guy was by my side throughout dental school, through thick and thin, shared my joys, my tears, and never once complained. So please, I'd like you to join me in giving a warm welcome to Skelly Sam. Don't worry, he won't bite. I will often receive comments from my patients, from subscribers, such as, it's like magic. The teeth have moved so quickly. I never thought they would change. So in today's episode, I'm going to be exclusively revealing that magic to you and how orthodontists can magically get teeth changing from this to this. Before we begin, please, I would love it if you haven't already to join us on this channel where you can learn everything you've ever wanted to know about braces. So please do hit that subscribe button and then also hit the bell. Make sure it's switched on so that you can receive notifications of all of our new and brilliant videos. It really does support us and you'll get access to this ever-growing library about all things brace and teeth related. Now, back to the main topic that you're all here for. For you to understand this topic clearly, we need to put our thinking caps on and I need to familiarize you with some of the basic mechanics and biology. Let's start with the basic components of fixed braces and Invisalign. Here we can see our fixed braces. We have brackets. These are the metal or ceramic materials that are glued onto the surface of each tooth. Brackets are the most visible part of your braces. We have arch wires. These are thin, rod-like metal wires that are placed over each bracket. This is the essential component for creating the pressure against the teeth that will gradually move them into the correct positions. These are O-rings, sometimes called ormolasts or donuts, or even ligatures. These are very tiny elastic bands that hold the bracket onto the arch wire. O-rings or donuts will usually be changed at each adjustment appointment and they come in a whole different range of colours. So if you want to add a special personality to your brace, then you can, or you can also opt for the more natural, neutral look. For Invisalign, we have the basics, which are plastic aligners and attachments that are glued onto your teeth. And I've created more detailed videos showing exactly how fixed braces and Invisalign are placed onto teeth, and I'll put links to these in the description below. When braces are applied to your teeth, and this includes both fixed braces and Invisalign, they apply a pressure onto your teeth, slowly encouraging your teeth to move into the correct position. With fixed braces, it's the wire that puts most of the pressure onto your teeth, while many of the other parts, like the brackets, will work to hold the wire in place. And with Invisalign, your aligners are custom made so that each one applies a slightly different force. So let's take a look at the biology of all this to see what's going on at a cellular level. Each one of your teeth has long roots and these roots sit in your jawbone and are cushioned by the tissues of your gums. Now underneath your gums, you have something called a periodontal membrane, which is basically a shield that covers the lower half of your teeth and it allows your tooth to move very slightly and acts like a bit of a natural shock absorber. Braces encourage your teeth to move by applying a pressure to this periodontal membrane. Okay, yeah, that's all great, but how does this happen? We have specialized cells in our bodies called osteoclasts or bone gobbling cells and osteoblasts. These are bone producing cells and these cells are present on the surface of bones. They respond to pressure all around the tooth. When a constant pressure is applied to the bone gobbling osteoclasts, they get excited and they want to break down the bone tissue so that the tooth can move on the side of the tooth where the pressure is being exerted, while the osteoblasts will work to form new bone behind it. So it's not just your teeth moving into position, your jawbone that holds your teeth is also reshaping itself. And this process is called bone remodeling. So you may be thinking, how much force does it take to move teeth? And this is a really critical question. It only takes 
some force to make these very small movements over time. And this force needs to be applied in the correct direction and position. If the force used is too strong, then it can easily damage your teeth. And if it's too weak, then the teeth simply won't move. For each tooth, your orthodontist will be careful to apply the correct amount of pressure for the correct period of time to avoid and minimize any long-term damage to your teeth. So the next question you may be asking is like, how long does all this remodeling take? Teeth move about one millimeter per month. So depending on what needs to be fixed, most patients with braces will have them on for somewhere between six months to three years with an average of about two years. Okay, so, well, this all makes sense, I hear you saying, but what about this thing called a retainer? Why do we need it? So your teeth are really intelligent and they still remember where they used to be for a while after the braces have come off, which is why it's so important to remember to wear your retainers as directed. A retainer supports your teeth in their newly aligned positions. And remember, the bone that your teeth sit in is a living and growing thing and it may still need a bit of time to adapt to the changes in your mouth. And even after your braces come off, it may take some time for your teeth and bones to stabilize. Retainers can be fixed or permanent and they can also be plastic and removable. And your orthodontist will advise you on how you need to wear your retainer and what type of retainer is best for you. And I've previously produced loads of videos all about retainers and I'll place a link to these in the description below. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and it's helped you to understand the magic that's involved in getting your teeth beautifully straight. So have you found this video interesting? Do you have braces? Or perhaps you'd like to be a dentist or an orthodontist? I'd love to hear from you. Please do drop me a comment in the comments section below. And if you've learned something from this video or you found it interesting, then please do give it a thumbs up and share it. And as always, if you're new to this channel, then please do hit that subscribe button and then also make sure the notification button switched on so that you can make sure you receive notifications for all of our new and brilliant videos. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.